Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Sunday. Today I wanted to share my samples that I pulled last week in the Sample Sunday series, and then we're gonna pull some new samples. So I'm gonna discuss these samples with you guys. So the first one I pulled is this Kalen. This is the Blackhead Steam Pour Pack and the Pour Original Pack. When I originally pulled this last Sunday, I thought, <clears throat> sorry, excuse me before I get my throat. I thought for sure that this was something that you used separately. I thought it was two different masks. However, it is two masks, but you want to use these back to back. So you want to use the Blackhead Steam Pour Pack first and then the, the original Pour Pack second because the Blackhead Steam Pour Pack is very hot. It will make your skin feel like almost like you're using Bengay. And then when you use the pour pack, it kind of cools it down some. So you, if you use them in combination with each other, then it really does kind of work out well. However, is this something that I would purchase again or would I purchase it on its own? No way, because I really did feel like it was very uncomfortable for me to use, for me to try. I did not enjoy this whatsoever. So I'm happy I did it, but I'm not gonna purchase or try that again. The next thing is the Dove, the Dry Oil Moisture. This is the Nourishing Body Wash. This one smells so good. I don't know, this one has Moroccan Argan Oil in it. It smells so good. It's got a very nice scent to it. It's a little bit strong though, so if you're someone who's like sensitive to scents, the scent to this is a little stronger than their typical Dove scents. But this is a great body wash. I really did enjoy it, so glad I was able to try it again. The next one is the julep this is the night shift night shift deep sleep facial mask so this is basically like a moisturizer that you're going to put on at nighttime before you go to bed it's just a little bit thicker than a typical moisturizer it worked well i had no complaints about it it didn't break me out or anything so i think this is a good moisturizer i think if you're someone who's looking for a good sleeping moisturizer i think you're going to enjoy this I personally wouldn't use this in the daytime because it's pretty thick so I wouldn't use it in the daytime but at nighttime I think it worked out well the next one is this nioxin this is the cleanser for fine hair for normal to look for normal looking thin normal to thin looking hair okay what so this is a pretty much a treatment for your hair to help your hair grow again and things like that I don't like these type of treatments because they smell very minty. They have a mentholated scent to them and also they do tingle a little bit because it is a mentholated scent. I don't particularly care for these so I'd rather use something in my hair that's not so mentholated. I know a lot of people do like that mentholated scent because they feel like it's like cleansing their hair really well and they just they enjoy the scent for whatever reason. I however do not so I know I will not purchase this. The next thing is the Clarins. This is the Clarins Multi-Active Newt. This is, says it targets fine lines revitalizing night cream. This is a really good night cream. I really did enjoy this. I think you can wear this in the daytime as well. I have worn it in the daytime while I've been trying this out. It worked well for me, especially for my dry skin, especially in the daytime underneath the makeup. Looks really, really good. So I really did enjoy this. Something that I would consider purchasing. It doesn't have a scent to it. So if you're someone who's sensitive to scents, nothing in this. So that's a good thing. The next thing is the Gold Bond Ultimate Radiance Renewal. This is a cream oil. It has coconut oil, cocoa butter, African shea butter. It says it's supposed to help to visibly, visibly exfoliate and nourish dry skin. This is a really, really good hydration type of product for your skin if you're having dry spots and things like that. I don't think that it's over hydrating though because I feel like if the next morning I woke up and my skin looked just the same like it was dry again. I tried this on the night before I, after I took a shower and then I put it on my skin, let it absorb. Woke up the next morning and my skin still was pretty dry so I think it's something you'd have to continually use in order to see results with making your skin better. However, I feel like this was good so I would consider purchasing it. It smells really good too. It's very summer like scents. The next thing is the Matrix. This is the Total Results 20. So it's a miracle creator. It's a multitasking treatment. Pretty much it's like the it's a 10 type of products. This is fine. I had no problems with this whatsoever. It's got a sweeter scent to it. I think it smelled good. It made my hair look healthier, look shinier. So anything that's going to make my hair look healthier and shiner and smells sweet, I like it. So it was a good one. The next one is this right here. This is a lip product from Bobbi Brown. This is the Bobbi Brown Crush Lip Color in the shade Babe. This is a really good lip product. I love the way this looks on my lips because it's not super opaque. I love the color to it. I think this is a good one. I personally haven't tried too many lip products from Barbie Brown, so I was excited to try it. It's not super long lasting on my lips, so I wouldn't say it's something that you put on and you're gonna have on for hours upon hours. You're definitely gonna have to reapply it because it will start to kind of fade away, but it fades away very naturally, so it's not one of those that fades away and gives you that butthole look, so. 
I think it's a good lip product. I would consider purchasing more of his products because I, or her products. Is Bobby Brown a, a boy or a girl? I'm pretty sure it's a girl. But I, because I really like this because it's more of a sheer wash. It's not that super opaque color. I like those on my lips more better than the opaque colors sometimes. So it was a good one. The next one is this right here from Josie Marin. This is the Surreal Argan Finishing Balm. This is a really good hydrating balm as well. So if you're someone who likes something that's very hydrating for your skin, this is a good one. It does have argan oil in it. Most of Josie Moran, that's mostly what she does is she focuses around argan oil. And argan oil is very, very good for dry skin. So I really did enjoy this. Would definitely consider purchasing a full size. Then I have two perfumes here. I have the Elizabeth and James Nirvana White. And then I also have the Toka Cleopatra. The Toka Cleopatra, I didn't really care for. It's just an okay scent. It's a little strong for me. I am very sensitive to scents lately because I've been having major sinus issues. Actually, in fact, today I'm having a sinus issue. And this is just too strong for me. So no, would not purchase that. The other one was the Elizabeth and James Nirvana White. This is a little bit more a muted scent, but it is still a little strong. But it's really nice. It's more of a florally scent. It's not super deep and dark. It's a very floral scent. It reminds me of like a spring scent. So this is a good one. This is something that I would purchase. Now we're moving on to our new samples for the week. So make sure my little container here is cleaned out. So we're good to start over. So the first thing we're gonna do is pull perfumes. So this is the perfume container. I'm going to pull two out of here. We have Hugo Boss. This is just the scent of Boss. It's an Eau de Toile, so we'll have to try that out. Hopefully it's not too strong. The next one is YSL Black Opium. Ooh, pretty sure this is one of my favorites. I think I have this, actually. Do I have this? Do I not? I have no idea anymore. I have so many perfumes. So anyway, YSL Black Opium. I will be testing that out this week. Now moving on to hair care. So here is the hair care basket. So I'm going to pull two out of this one. So the first one I'm going to try to dig down a little bit here. The first one here is KMS Color Vitality as a conditioner. It says it color protection and conditioning. So I'll have to try that out and see if it's any good. If you've tried any of these samples before, let me know what you think of them. The next one is, oh, something big. We have Redken 25 benefits. Okay, so we went from a Redken 20, was it 20? Matrix, Matrix 20 to a Redken 25. So I'm gonna have to compare these two and see what the difference is in these two. Like what are they claiming to do? That'd be a good little comparison. Now let's do some makeup. So I'm gonna pull two out of the makeup basket here. So the first one is Ooh, what do we have here? We have an Ulta Matte Lip Cream in the shade Striking. That's a really pretty color. Let me see if I can show you better. It looks like it'd be perfect for like the spring almost. So that's the color. It's very pretty. It might look good with my sweater I have on today. I don't know. And then I have one more sample out of here. So the next one is, oh, oh gosh, I just threw something down. I don't know what I threw. Oh, we have some Ulta Beauty sponges. So we'll try that and this right here because this fell out. So we'll try these little sponges out here. These are the Super Blenders. So these are, oh, I haven't tried these before. I've tried the different one from Ulta Beauty. You have to let me know if you've tried these particular sponges. And then I have a Tarte High Performance Naturals. This is a Amazonian Clay Waterproof Concealer. So here's a concealer from Tarte. So there's the three, per, three makeup samples to try now. Now we have our body care basket. So we're gonna pull two out of here. The first one is, ooh, what is this? This is the Body Shop Japanese Camellia Cream. It's a relaxing ritual cream. Ooh, that sounds fancy. And then, oh, stuck my hand through the rope. Then we have Cow Shed. I think that's how you say it. Cow Shed, it's a knackered cow. This is a relaxing body lotion. So here's the little body lotion from Cow Shed I'm gonna be trying out. Hang tight, guys. Okay, guys, sorry about that. So now we're going to move on to skincare. So I have my skincare basket here, and so we're going to pull three out of this basket. So we're going to reach down in here far. This basket is so cool. All right, the first one is Bare Minerals. This is the Skin Longevity Vital Power Infusion. So here's a little Bare Minerals product to try out. I think this is something I recently picked up, so I'm excited about trying that out. The next one is... Ooh, what is this? This is the Clean and Clear Deep Action 60 Second Shower Mask. It says it's a steam activator refreshing it deep clean. 
So a mask that you use in the shower. That's interesting. So let's try that out. And then one more sample. Something else that's big. What do we have here? This looks like Mario Badescu, if I can tell correctly from the bottle. Yes, this is the Enzyme Cleansing Gel. So this is a little gel that I'm going to try out this week. So we've got lots of goodies to try this week. My little cup is filled, so we have lots of things to try out. Now, as for the winner from last week's giveaway, the giveaway bag looks like this. So the winner from last week, her name is... Chat and Sassy. So Chat and Sassy, this is your goodie bag. So all you have to do is send me an email letting me know your mailing address and I will mail this goodie bag out to you. This is yours. So moving on to the samples that are being given, being given away this week that come in this cute little bag here. This is a Milani bag. I think the bag itself is really cute. It's got this little like a hook thing that you can actually take off and attach it to something else. And the bag is like golden color. So inside of here, I've got some goodies for you. So the first thing is the Bumble and Bubble Thickening Spray. This is a pre-styling spray for your hair. The next one is the Becca, the Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid in Opal. So this is a really cool product to try out if you've never tried any of her liquid skin perfectors. Then we have the Urban Decay Stir Up Trouble Troublemaker Mascara. So here is the little Troublemaker Mascara. This is the newest one that Urban Decay has come out with. Make sure I close that up correctly before it falls out. Okay, and then we have the Kopari. This is the Coconut Melt, the Ultimate Multitasking Moisturizer. Then we have the Black Vanilla Sulfate Free Shampoo and Hydrating Conditioner. This is by Carol's Daughter, I'm pretty sure. Yes, Carol's Daughter. That's a really good brand. And then what else do we have in here? We have a It Cosmetics the Confidence and a Cleanser. So here's a little cleanser by It Cosmetics. And then we have the It Cosmetics CC Cream. Well, this is the one that has SPF 50 in it. Then we have the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. So a lot of these are really good products, so hopefully you'll enjoy them. The next one that you get in here is the Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer. So this is like a deluxe size. And then you get the Tarte, whoops, I just dropped that one. You get the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Deep Dive Cleansing Gel, as well as the Tarte Maracuja Bronzing Serum. So you get all of these in this goodie bag here and all you have to do is leave me a comment below. Actually, we're still doing the questions. So if you want to continue adding questions to that, because I'm having fun with my mask series that I just recently started. So if you want to leave me a question below asking me anything you want to know about samples or anything about my daily life or anything about YouTube, just leave me a question that gets you qualified to enter for this giveaway and next week I will draw a new winner. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the Sample Sunday series. Also, let me know what samples you tried this week. Were they good? Were they bad? Let us know. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, I'll catch you guys later.